welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today is the Through the Thick and Thin Throw. So what we have here is that a multitude of striping that you see but actually in fact it's just a repeat of two rows in order to make it happen. So what we have here is a color sequence that you can find right here if you'd like to do that and it's actually really quite a simple. So it's an intermediate level. Uh, I'm not really sure why it is but that's okay. I'm just gonna go with it and today I'm going to demonstrate this plus I'll also do the border and I'll show you how to do the fastening off techniques in between as well. I think this is a great little project to be able to work on. So in this particular pattern we're going to get ourselves started. You're gonna chain 130. Now I figured it out if you'd like to change the size of this because I really like this because it's a nice tight stitch uh, for a baby blanket. You can chain in multiples of two. So one, two, one, two, one, two and when you're satisfied just stop and then we will then pick you up from that point. So, so let's start off with a slip knot today and you can chain 130 as per the instruction or you can just go in multiples of two which was which is what I'm gonna do. So just go one, two, one, two, one two, one two, one two, one two and if this was the size that you really wanted to you can just stop and immediately just start your project. So you can either chain 130 or do multiples of two. Let's begin row number one. So working in the second chain from the hook so one and two go to the second chain and you're gonna go in the back hump only. I want you to single crochet there and then chain two, one, two and then single crochet in that same chain and that's all that it is going across. So you're gonna skip the next chain and go to the second over and you're just gonna immediately single crochet, chain two, single crochet. I'll demonstrate it one more time. So skipping one chain going into the next. So you single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Please do this all the way across your chain and put me on hold now. So I'm gonna come to the end. You're gonna notice that it's gonna bend a little bit. That's normal so uh, don't fret if that's happening to you at home. So just uh, do the last stitch. So single crochet, chain two, single crochet and that concluded off row number one. So you're just going to turn your work and let's begin row number two. So row number two we're gonna get ourselves started. So you're gonna just chain one and come into this chain two space that is existing between the two. So look at it like a goal post of maybe like football and you have to throw the ball in between the posts. So just go in that chain two space and single crochet, chain one and then go to the next chain two space in the next between the next goal posts. So the single crochet chain two single just go in that chain two space and don't forget the chain one after and you'll notice that this will stabilize the, the project. So continue just to go in between the goal posts, the chain two spaces and just chain one right after and do this all the way to the end. So this is row number two and eventually the party will end. You'll come to the last one. So just a single crochet in the last one and just hold there. You will not do anything further for this point. Turn your work and let's begin row number three. So rows number three and four are the repeat pattern for this whole thing. So you're just gonna start off by chaining one and in the same single crochet that you're coming out of single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the same single crochet stitch. Then reach to the next single crochet that you have. So just single crochet, chain two, single crochet. That's as hard as it gets my friends. Okay so then go to the next single crochet and do the same thing and do this all the way across. This is row number three and I'll see you at the end of the row. So I'm coming up to my very last one. So the last single crochet is single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So you can see that it's nice and stable now. So that was row number three. Let's move on to row number four. So row number four is just chain up one and then go in between the go posts again. It's the chain two spot and just single crochet, chain one and then go to the next chain two space. It's between the go posts and you'll do that all the way across. So this is row number four. So what we have to do is that we have to just repeat rows number three and four over and over and over until you're satisfied with the, the length of the project. Now the color sequence that is on the pattern is shown there so you can just look at that. So let's just say we wanna change our colors. So what you can do is that you can just uh, change the colors at any point if you would like to but you'll notice that all the colors are in an even number. So I just finished row number four. So this would be where I would change colors if I was to do so. So let me just show you how to change a color and get that nicely done. 
To change the colors you're just gonna snip your yarn with some scissors and pull it through. And I would strongly recommend that you use a tapestry needle to hide in these loose ends especially if you're giving it away. This makes for a great charity uh, project too. So just going through the underside of the beast of the belly just going under side but when you do it make sure that you don't change the shape. So make it taut but not to the point where it's it's pulling. So go back the second time and then the third time is a charm. So every time you wanna change your or fasten in your yarn that's how you're gonna do it. So I'm gonna show you just joining a new color and then we'll begin that story in just a second. So if I wanted to join a new color I can just pick up the new color here just put it onto the hook. This is where I finish. So when I pick it up I wanna turn it and we wanna begin row number three. Okay so that is that joining there. So you're just gonna put it through. So what you can do is a standing single crochet. It doesn't say to do this but this is what I would do. Put it onto the hook and pull it through that stitch and you have two loops on the hook. Just pull through both loops and that is a standing single crochet. So now chain two and in the same single crochet just go right up over top of the straggler itself and it will hide it and single crochet. So you're creating the goal post again. So in the next single crochet the same thing. So single crochet, chain two, single crochet. See how I'm going up over top of the straggler? You can do that so you don't have to weave in your ends later. It's your call and what you would like to do. So what I can do at this point is that I can finish up to row number four again which is the next row and then you can just uh, begin the border at any point in this. So you have to make sure you end on row number four which is going to be those single crochet rows. So eventually at the end of this you're just going to single crochet the last one, chain two, single crochet and then turn. So row number four is the ending. So chain up one and then single crochet between the posts which is the chain two space, chain one and etc. So when you're finished your blanket I need you to finish on this row because it matters on how we're going to do the, the final border around. What I'm going to do is that I am going to change the color one more time off camera and when I come back I'll have just a, so that this is a stripe so we have a nice clean border to work with at the end of the story. So this is fun and let's begin our border in just a moment. When you're satisfied with the length of your blanket then what you can do is just trim your yarn and fasten in. So this is it. So this is the end of row number four in order to start and we're going to begin the border in just a moment. There are six rounds to do the border and obviously you can do whatever you want but let me get you started and show you how the designer would like you to do it today. Now when I finished, I finished right here and you will know that row number one has the one idea that it is that single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So I know that when I finish on row number four I'm actually on the wrong side of the project. So I have to make sure that when I start I'm starting on the right side. Do you see the difference? There's a slight difference in the way that it looks but just start on the right side. So if you were to turn your work and start and do the single crochet, chain two, single crochet that's the side that you would want to be facing up. So we're going to begin and what we have to do is that we, we are going to maintain the pattern as we know it. So we are going to do the single crochet, chain two, single crochet but when we come down the side we just have to kind of equally space things out as we're doing that. So we're gonna start off in a corner. Okay and we're gonna chain one and we're all, we're gonna start a corner first. So just come right into the edge and you need to chain one and then single crochet chain two and single crochet and you wanna do that in this corner a total of three times in a row. Okay, so let's do that again. So single crochet, chain two, single crochet and one more time. So single crochet, chain two, single crochet and what this will do is that it will help us turn this corner as it goes around. So like you would before you come to the next single crochet that's available. So you're gonna single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And so you're moving across the top as if it's just a regular row because it kind of is. So now you can see why you would have ended on row number two because the border is starting with this fun stuff right immediately. So eventually you'll come to the other corner which is next. So in the very last one you wanna do what we just did here a total of three times. So single crochet, chain two, 
single crochet. So that's one of three. Do it again, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And one more time because we're fabulous this morning. So one, two, and coming in. So what you're going to do is that you're gonna equally go down the sides. So just kinda like skip over this and come right here and single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. So you're pretty much skipping every other row when, when you think about it. So you're skipping this, go right here. So single crochet, chain two, single crochet. As long as it looks even, you're gonna be good to go. So skipping, going here. And a quick little secret, there's no yarn police. So not as far as I know. <laughs> After all these years, I've never run into them. So. so you're coming all the way down and then eventually you'll hit the bottom. So in the bottom here, you'll come right into the edge. So you'll do that idea three times. So chain two, so there's one of th three. So do, do again, chain, sorry, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. One more time. So now you've officially turned. And if you're paying attention, you can kind of see the underside. So here's the next one right here. So single crochet, chain two and then there's the next one right there. So it's like the looking at the single crochet is that you're placing those in but you're on the underside of the beginning chain. So when you get to the edge, you know what to do or the corner, you know what to do. Throw this in three times and then equally work your way up the other side. I'll leave that for you and I'll be back in just a moment at the end of this round. So I've just come all the way around and here's the corner. So I'm got everything equally spaced. It's actually a lot easier than I thought. So you're gonna come into the first single crochet here on this side and you're going to join it. Now here's the trick. You need to turn this around and now go back in the other direction so that you can keep the texturing looking the same. So let's begin row number two. So the trick as you turn around, you have to identify the middle one of the grouping of three. So it's the middle one of each and do some, something slightly different so that you can keep that growing out. But right where we're sitting right now, we're gonna chain up one and we're going back in the direction from which we came. So the corner is behind us so we're not gonna worry about that. But you're gonna single crochet in that chain two space between the goal posts, remember? And then chain one and then into the next chain two space and then chain one. So you can change the colors at any point and if you are gonna change the colors, I strongly recommend you do it after this next round um, because this is kinda like round number four if you recall. So you're gonna move all the way down and so you're looking for the middle one of the grouping of three which is the next one. So in the middle one of the three, you're gonna single crochet, chain two and single crochet into the same one. Okay, and then chain one and then come in single crochet in the next, chain one, single crochet in the next and so on. So please do this all the way around. This is round number two. So I'm just coming up all the way to the end. This is where I started. So this is the chain two just before where I started. So make sure you chain one to meet up with that and just join it up. Now when you join up, you have a choice. You can either just turn your work, which you have to turn anyway, but you can uh, end your yarn here and then start something, a new color there. So what I'm going to do is just end my yarn here. I'll weave in my ends and then I'll start round number three in just a moment. So we have to make sure that I turn this afterward to begin row number, or round number three. So I'll see you at the beginning of round number three next. So I'm going to start round number three. So this is where I finished. So you're looking, you can see the single crochet stitches that are here. So I want to start where I finished. And so I'm going to start with the standing single crochet and then chain two and, and stand and a single crochet there in the same one. So I'm gonna come to the next single crochet and fill that in. So single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Here's the next single crochet right here. It's just before the corner. And then the chain two space is the corner itself. So I want to single crochet, chain two, single crochet right in the chain two space of the corner and then move to the next single crochet right after it and single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So I'm just gonna 
feature or like focus on these single crochet stitches and do that all the way around. So when I get close to the corners I want to just fill in the, the single crochet just before the corner. I wanna fill in the chain two space and the single crochet right after and then continue that journey around. This is round number three. So I've just come all the way around and I'm just going to join it to the first single crochet. You're no longer turning the project over. You're gonna stay on this side. This is the front side of your particular project. We're now going to move on to round number four. In round number four we are going to then start our journey. So when we go to do round number four this is what we're up to today. So like before we're just gonna chain up one and one single crochet between the goal posts and then chain one and then go to the next chain two space. So chain two space equals goal post if you haven't figured that out yet. So chain up one and when you come into the corner one you're going to um, not do any single crochet but you are going to half double crochet and then chain a total of three and then half double crochet in the same corner. And that builds out that corner a little bit better. So now chain one and then come to the next chain or sorry next uh, chain two space which is the goal post and etc. So make sure in the corners you are half double crocheting, chain three, half double crochet. So and then there's only chain uh, ones that separate the rest of them all the way around. Let's uh, do this and I'll see you at the end of this round, round number four. So just coming around the end of number four just join it to the first single crochet. You're not gonna turn it and you're gonna move on to round number five. So right where we're standing right now is that we have to begin our journey and we're going to just chain three from here. So one, two, three and you're going to skip the single crochet that you're sitting on top of and you're just going to slip stitch into this chain one space like that. Okay and then you are going to chain three. So one, two, three and then go into the next chain one space and slip stitch and then chain three. So one, two, three. So this is a corner so you're going to slip stitch, chain three and slip stitch all within the same corner and then begin to jump again around. So chain three and slip into the next chain one space and I need you to do that all the way around. This is round number five. So in getting all the way around I'm just gonna chain three and then just join it to the first chain three that I had started with and that will conclude that round. So one more round to go, round number six. So round number six what we need to do is that we're going to um, slip stitch into the next chain three and then chain three. So one, two, three and then go to the next chain three. So you're not gonna worry about corners at all. Just make sure that each of the chain threes um, get a slip stitch followed by a chain three after that and that will conclude off this particular project today. So I'm turning the corner nail, not adding any extra stitches and this will have a nice flow at the very end of your project. So slip stitch and then chain three, slip stitch and chain three and I'll see you at the end of this round. So eventually the party will come to an end and I'm just gonna chain three and then just join it with the slip stitch to the beginning where it started. Now you want to use your tapestry needle to hide in your ends. Just go back and forth a total of three times. I've already shown you how to do that and I'm gonna leave that for you. So this particular um, particular project actually reminds me a little bit of a maybe a comforter or something for a Barbie. I don't know something fun right? So this is it for our journey today. This is through the thick and thin and you can see you can have some really kind of fun colors. Looks like the number eight today and that's our journey today. Have a good one and we hope to see you again real soon right here in the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. Bye bye.